not safe for work. This was a comedy drama. Would we say mm-hmm. comedy drama, Luke? I don't know, because when I think comedy <laughs> drama, I think, you know, Cold Feet is the epitome yeah, yeah. of comedy drama I, for I, me. I think this was sort of, I mean, there was sort of dark comedy in this. Someone equated it, I think it might have been The Guardian, uh, equated it to This Life, which I don't think, I didn't see that at all in this. Ooh. Um, it's probably close to The Teachers, if it's... There were sort of, the characters had a comic edge to them, certainly a lot of them. Which to me almost sort of it felt a bit cliched. Zoe Ashton fronts this from Fresh Meat. Uh, she plays a character called Catherine who finds out early on that she's being transferred from her sort of job in Whitehall to uh, an outpost in Northampton, where they allegedly send all the sort of lesser um, desirable employees. It's sort of something to do with immigration, and the boss there is is sort of a very sort of cliched character initially, played by Sasha Darwin who is sort of, you know, drinking, smoking, doing drugs. As soon as she got there, she was presented with all these sort of, you know, the annoying girl, her ex, just a a, a cavalcade of stereotypes. And it was only in the last sort of bit where you found out more about these characters, like you saw different layers to them, that I started to think, oh, maybe this has got something about it, you know. I struggled again to just to identify and connect with it. Um... I I... I really liked the first scene. I thought the first scene with where she's getting divorced in the bar, I thought was one of the better things about it. Just that. Yeah, you I got didn't, the, I didn't you got mind the, that. You got the sort of impression of where it, the tone of it, in a way. I thought hmm. this is, you know, there was some comedy there. You know, obviously the dramatic element of her getting divorced and there was like the jokes about, you know, her, the guy being named who she was having the affair with in the divorce papers and there was that. You know, do you want to do a drawing line, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, yeah, but I think one of the problems with it is that it's, you know, it's been given 50 minutes rather than an hour. Certainly this first episode could have done with 45 minutes. I don't know what you think. I don't know whether I care about any of these people. You know, and we, we say it over and over again that when you watch something, you have to either care about the people that you're spending yeah, your 47, 37 minutes with. I think I... I yeah. She was. She sort of drew me in. You know, she is such a fine performer. And mm. I, I think it shows her diversity that she can play VOD and then this sort of straight lace. Oh, absolutely. You, could, you couldn't character. put them together. You couldn't put them I together. I just thought in the last bit where you sort of had, you know, the Sasha Darwin character, he sort of, you know demonstrated like a caring side the like yeah. annoying Sophie Rundle character you saw a bit more depth to her you know you found out she was divorced and things like that I just think another thing as well is that the writer whose name I've forgotten DC Moore DC Moore um, yeah, DC. He, he he's come from theatre and I think yeah you know in a play, you've got 90 minutes to sort of get your characters across and all that and there's people so, going off and off the stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the stage. I, whereas with telly, you've got that uh, only one opportunity to draw people in and keep them there. And I mm. think to an extent he squandered that opportunity partially because he hasn't had enough time, perhaps. Mm. Um, I, I'd watch another episode, but that might be I it. probably wouldn't watch another okay. one. Um, but the, I mean, I, I found the... I mean, the, they've been heavily trailered, and I just yeah. found the... The, the scene where she was told to go to Northampton, I just found that annoying. You're joining the Exodus. To Northampton? No, Northampton. Northampton. Yes. So good they named it. You know, this isn't by any means going to dent their, no, their no. great year, because at least they're trying something it's different. Something and... they're try- you know, they're trying something. Yeah. There's a new writer, you know, yeah. people who are in things but haven't taken leads before. Yeah. Zoe Ashton, Sophie Darwin, Sophie Rundle people like that and and, a, and attracting younger audiences yeah, from yeah, younger yeah. cast well, so we can't I, I think, knock it 